Hello y'all, do you ever have odd problems when using the Paradox Launcher to start Hearts of Iron 4? Is it not loading? Well don't worry, because in this video I'm going to show you how to install an alternative launcher that may fix your issues. With that out of the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All it takes is less than a second. Step 1. Download the launcher. You gotta go to GitHub and find Xferno 2's Heart Spine 4 launcher. The link to this will be in the description below. Once you're on the download page, all you gotta do is click on the hoi4launcher.rar file and hit OK to begin the download. Step 2. Find where Hoi4 is installed. Right click on Hardspire 4 in the Steam library, click Properties. A window will pop up and then you will go to Local Files and hit Browse. Do note I am using Steam so if you do not have that, the files may be somewhere else on your computer. We are now in the right place so on to step 3. Copy the file path for where Hoi4 is installed. Then in another window, open the Hoi4 launcher RAR you downloaded earlier and extract it to the Hoi4 directory. I am using 7-zip, but WinRAR will also work well. After the extraction is done, all the contents of the RAR file should be in the root Hoi4 folder. Step 4. Press the Hoi4 launcher application and then BAM! It magically opens. I am just joking around since I've used this before, but seriously, you will need to run Hoi4 at least once and in my experience make sure you can see play sets in the Paradox launcher. The reason for this is that this alternative launcher needs to generate mod files for Steam Workshop subscribed mods. If you have installed mods manually, you can just skip this step. Some things to keep in mind when using this program, it can mainly turn DLC and mods on and off. If you install a new mod from the workshop, you will need to launch the Paradox Launcher and be certain that the mod has appeared in the mods slash playsets list there. If you get something like what I think is called a .NET Framework Error, it means that the launcher is not going to change the number count if you activate or deactivate a mod. To fix this, I suggest going to the Paradox Launcher and disable all the mods, then close that and start the alternative launcher again. To see this thing in action, just click on the box of the mod you want and hit play after that. If everything is working right, Hearts of Iron 4 should open within a few seconds. Here is the loading screen. I am just showing this as proof it is working and I am going to cut ahead to the menu. It is done and with that remember that this is just an alternative launcher for Hearts of Iron 4. It is not meant to ultimately replace the Paradox launcher. The video is going to end here. If you like the software showcased in this video, download it in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment because it helps the algorithm recommend this video more. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.